A conditional probability is the probability of one event B conditional on the occurrence of another event A. It is denoted by P B A and is read as the probability of B given A. And it can be computed by the following formula. Take the probability of A and B occurring divided by the probability of A. We can divide by the probability of A because the conditional probability is only used if A actually occurs. In other words, the probability of A is non-zero. Let's look at our first example. Consider the stock price per share of Huli. The probability of the stock price going up is 90%. This probability will vary with general market conditions. The probability of a good market and the stock price going up is 67.5%. Find the probability of a good market given that the stock price went up. So this means that we need to find the conditional probability of a good market given that the stock price went up. We will use the formula that we just discussed. The probability of a good market and the stock price going up is 67.5%. The probability of the stock price going up is 90%. So we have 0.675 divided by 0 0.9. Therefore, the probability of a good market given that the stock price went up is 75%. Continuing on from example 1, suppose that the market is good 73.5% of the time. Find the probability of the stock price going up given a good market. Again, we will have to use the conditional probability formula. From example 1, we saw that the probability of a good market and the stock price going up is 67.5%. The probability of a good market is 73.5%. So we have 0 0.675 divided by 0 0.735. Therefore, the probability of a stock price going up given a good market is 91.8%. Now let's have a look at the chain rule which can be used to compute the joint probability of both A and B occurring. The probability of A and B is the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given that A occurs. Rearranging this equation, we have the formula for the conditional probability. In the event that B actually occurs, in other words, B is not zero, we can compute the probability of A given B. From the conditional probability formula, we have that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B and A divided by the probability of B. The probability of B and A is the same as the probability of A and B. Now, using the chain rule, we can rewrite the probability of A and B as the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given A. Now we have a formula to compute posterior probabilities. So given the prior probabilities, the probability of A and the probability of B, and given the conditional probability of B given A, we can compute the posterior probability, the probability of A given B. Here's another example. Consider the stock price per share of Huli. The probability of it going up is 90%. Given that the stock price went up, the market was good 75% of the time, fair 20% of the time, and bad 5% of the time. When the stock price went down, those numbers were 60, 30, and 10% respectively. Use this information to find the probability of the stock price going up given a fair market. From the given information, we have that the probability of a good market given that the stock price went up is 75%, the probability of a good market given that the stock price went down is 60%, and so on. Using the chain rule, we can multiply the prior probabilities by the conditional probabilities to give us the joint probabilities as so. For example, the probability of a good market and the stock price going up is 0 0.9 times 0 0.75 which equals to 0 0.675. If we add up the columns, we should find that they sum up to the probability of the stock price going up and down. This is a good way to check your work. Adding the two should give you one. If we add up the rows, we will get the probability of each market condition. 
So the probability of a good market is 73.5%. The probability of a fair market is 21%. And the probability of a bad market is 5.5%. These should also sum up to 1. Now we can use the formula to calculate the posterior probability. The probability of the stock price going up, given a fair market, is the probability of a stock price going up times the probability of a fair market given that the stock price went up, divided by the probability of a fair market. Plugging in the values, we have 0 0.9 times 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.21. Therefore, the posterior probability is 85.7%. The rest of the posterior probabilities can be calculated in the following exercise. Remember to pause the video before checking your solutions. Good luck!